Alex. I mark Patrick uh, Nadine says in Mudun Alex about this. It's awesome and you, you guys enabled this all that are actually almost by mistake did did within an hour. And and so I, I promise I'll I'll be quick. Um um I'm gonna tell you how, how I actually did it, what I did and why I actually did, did it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So um Briefly about myself, I, I used to work last week still in a company called Zoan. We created lots of crazy stuff on top of the Unreal Engine, like uh, Visual Console, all, all, all that kind of stuff, and and uh, being talk about Metaverse to our customers and, and, and uh, trying to take that further. Uh, and I've been working in mobile industry uh, in Nokia and uh, different media companies as a kind of a, a service designer, a uh, fast prototyper, being, being like a um, uh, evangelist for uh, extended reality stuff and all that stuff like back in the day, days. And I kind of my, I'm not here talking um, for for the current company that I'm currently working in. That's a company called Last Front. Uh, it's a kind of a boat manufacturer and a house of kind of brands. But instead, I'm here talking uh, this case in in. Uh, name of my own company, Netfreak. Um, so yes, I I've been using Unreal Engine for the past I don't know five years, and I uh, I, I find it really really good to to uh, that's the kind of a tool that I can express myself easily. Uh, I love to do R and D. I love to do prototypes for our customers to really uh, try out cool and crazy stuff like in in. Uh, Almost kind of a concept of overnight demos, uh, and then then when we have talk with customers, and next day we have something up and running, and they are like, "Wow!" And that's the kind of a best selling tool that I can imagine. And I'm mostly using blueprints. I really love them. I know how to uh, uh, code, but I nowadays uh, prefer uh, staying uh, with blueprints only. It all started like back in uh, 2017 in, in Helsinki. Uh, we had to create. We we wanted to create something uh, cool and uh, awesome for for like really create some kind of a uh, hype around this one product, and we create this kind of a uh, virtual simulator that you were actually sitting in this very same boat that we modeled, and then you were able to actually touch uh, while you were wearing your uh, Vive headset, and I, that's. Um, how it all started a couple couple years ago, uh, and it has evolved over the years. Of course, uh, about that maybe some other day. But um, uh, under this kind of name of Netflix, I've been creating uh, crazy stuff a lot, and it, it's usually when I had this day job and so on. I did those things as a kind of a CTO role. But then when I stopped that, uh, I started to do my own stuff, and that like lasted until like like. 1 a.m. and we're just posting those things to my friends and etc. So coming to this case about cesium, so um, uh, me and my friends we're we're big gamers. We love gaming, uh, um, and um, as I had this kind of background of doing uh, fast prototypes using Unreal Engine, um, uh, I wanted to create a multiplayer game for from for our game clan while we're waiting actually for the next uh, uh, version of the Battlefield uh, uh, game. And I, I, I wanted it to take um, place here in Helsinki in, a, in real life size that they, uh, I wanted to create our, our homes that we're actually able to like fight uh, against each other. There's a different kind of uh, uh, aircraft and satellites and missiles and whatnot. But the kind of a challenge here was that they, um, how to click the next one there uh, was that the um, City of Helsinki and National Land Survey of Finland, they are maintaining this kind of open source database for, for, for litter uh, measured uh, 3D object, uh, OBG files. And I, I was able to easily download all the stuff and, and, and put it to the blender, maybe clean it up. And I wanted to have the kind of real life uh, uh, landscape, uh, terrains and stuff. And so I used grayscale TIFF images of combat kind of land height data. And, and that thing I, I uh, convert in Photoshop and then I import to, to, to uh, Unreal Engine. So all this actually required lots of kind of pre-production uh, in, in Blender and Photoshop to pull, put all this together, what you're seeing here in, in this video. It was, uh, it was cool and nice, but it was very heavy and a slow process and the earth was flat. So, so um, 
but then what happened like almost instantly of, after that i was i i was following the uh, uh Unreal Engine epics news and community spotlight video or, or that kind of event online event and then i uh realized that there is actually this upcoming new thing coming out in, in Unreal Engine 4.26 called as cesium that actually takes all the all those challenges away from me uh like a how to manage uh, tile loading caching uh uh uh, loading all that's only that stuff that I need and and the one key kind of a challenge that I have over the years uh, with uh, 3d or AR things was like a how to convert real life latitude longitude to unreal engine units and then have this kind of metaverses clued above each other so it was inbuilt into this plugin and I was like Wow! And what was the best thing and, and ruining flat uh, Earth society's dreams was that Earth was actually round. If I zoom out, you can actually see that, okay, it's a real deal. It's round. And what I actually did then, I, I once the uh, Zizium uh, blogging and the uh, thing was there uh, to be downloaded from the Unreal Engine marketplace, I, I did that and I migrated my previous credit uh, aircraft to this one. That's it. I really, um, I have screenshots here. So what I did, I, of course, I have the Unreal Engine uh, installed. I, I searched for Cism, download both of these. They are free, by the way. And I, I created a new uh, example project using this um, uh, Unreal Engine Cism plugin example. And then I used this um, very nice uh, plugin or kind of template for, for um, uh, aviation called as easy flight model uh, that I used to use previously and then having these two CSM and this this plugin I just put them together and that it was I didn't even realize that that, that there, this is some kind of an option or, or kind of a maybe need to to audit case myself to CSM cloud I, I only realized that afterwards I didn't read even in single line of, of manual how to do this. I just like started to tr track and drop things here. And then there it was actually, that's it. And I, I, I wrote a blog about that. I did this in, in within an hour, but I guess it was actually less than that. I edited, I, I shot a video, edited that and uh, that to like one hour. And then I posted it on, on LinkedIn and it had like 20,000 views. That was totally like, going totally out of my hands uh, because it was so easy. And I actually realized that the season actually in the uh, beginning of the session, he did actually just the same thing that I did. Um, so um, so this is actually now the kind of a, the real deal. You, 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 you have the access to the YouTube video uh, uh, and the, in the latter uh, slides here. But this is Helsinki now here. And um, uh, in this case, I used uh, Oculus Guest 1 uh, via um, this um, link cable that I can actually run heavy PC VR stuff on Oculus Guest. Uh, and uh, then I, 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 I did the thing and there it was. <laughs> it was nice. And I let me go forward from here. So where to go from here? Um, this enables all kind of different things. It, it, this this enables, like, of course, it um, because I think from the business B two B side, uh, uh, there there are like tons of different uh, ways how to utilize this. Uh, the, it's a ideal place to run your R and D to do uh, and execute like user tests for your products or services, and, and really see and put all the kind of a big data there to to do some kind of a, a people flow calculations all, or, and heat maps and uh, whatnot. And it actually, as, as discussed, it actually enables metaverses. It, it enables visualization of different services or, or your or your company's products, or, or you can create new business on top of it. It obviously uh, creates opportunities uh, for game and entertainment industry. But it also is also like a um, enables simulations for like strategic simulations uh, for defense industry and whatnot. And I'm currently working in maritime industry as a uh, head of digitalization. And uh, there I already actually had a call with the season 
about how to how can we bring this data to, to offshore to 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 start like simulating uh, how to navigate uh, and doing stuff like that uh, with real uh, real life latitude longitude data and, and stuff like that and and where they can further here and um, and now it's like a we used to have this kind of problem that every time when you want to create some kind of an experience, you need to start from creating the world where it all takes place. And now you have the whole world. The, 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 it's totally up to you now. It's the rest is up to you. So it's totally up to you now to start creating uh, those value adding uh, use cases because you have no excuse to waste the time on, on creating how, how you can have the world. You have it. It takes half an hour. And uh, using these uh, incredible tools, and um, that's it. Um, this was pretty quick. Uh, if you use a camera, you can follow those uh, uh, QR codes to have those videos. But that's, at this point, I really want to thank uh, Unreal Engine people. I want to thank Cesium, OTC, and of course you guys and Mutin and Alex to, to bring me to this platform. And uh, if you have any questions regarding what I did, um, you can always send me an email or contact me via LinkedIn or, or watch more videos on Facebook dot, uh, slash Netflix VR. That's all. Back to Alex or Mutu. All right.